And it looks like we're on the way. So we are going to get started with the first match of tonight, and that is going to be Onmos versus OnlyFan, where we see Onmos starting on the EU side here on Supply and the NRS side taken by the likes of OnlyFan. Alright, so let's have a look. Uh, I see a question in chat why Aspen joined another team. To be honest, I only figured out uh, earlier on too, so no idea. We see Hans using the Jmar. I've heard someone speak about the gun being supposedly strong. Hans has already received quite a bit of damage, so already very low HP. We see the kill precision chassis and the wick NPC used by Sem. And he's playing four on Moss, gets the kill on Paddy and Sap as well. So immediately mid is opened up, but it's already a 3v3. So KCRs, FRs, XM8. Oh, Norky's using the Kraken skin, so I have to make sure he doesn't use that. But nice to see the XM8. Aside from that, not too many new guns. Let's watch Insu as he gets the kill onto Tryhard. Norky's now moving in. Good second kill by Insu. It's a skull doing the work for Anmos, and Insu is now about to get his third. Unless Cliffin's got something to say about that. He has already very low HP. They spotted him. And he will get pushed out. Flash as well. No one's an item. No, I'll just pistol him. First round goes to Onmos. But it looks like the scope so far have been taking it pretty, pretty easily. Oh, I'll keep an eye on North. It looks like the main push is happening in mid with Paddy's and Seb doing massive amounts of work. It's already a 2v5, and Insu and Sam are the only ones remaining. Let's quickly go to Insu, who might meet up with anyone, but Sam actually might be the next one to look into Cliffin. Sam has now gone by, but Cliffin immediately gets the kill, so now Insu's alone. And that's rounds. Very clean one for only fans. And they even up the scores. In the meantime, I'm trying to see if I can add something here. I see a decimal. So that's cool to see a Sam gets a kill into Cliff and straight away. This time he does win the fight. That flick now. Now I can see the map. Hench with the KCR. Oh, he has the nade launcher as well. He gets pushed by Seth. By Paddy, it was. Seth gets another. Norky also with a kill. Uh, Hench was wondering what the hell's going on there. And now it's Insu all on his own. Insu's in a 1v4. But the first round went very well for the scopes. So Onmos taking a really good stand there. But so far the mids have been mostly lost in the middle. And that is really costing Onmos. But they're now moving in, Sep's holding it off, and goal! They have found Insu, and he gets the kill onto Insu as well. 3k for Seb. Good start by him, but also, but yeah, it's it's really Seb and Paddy uh, doing the work at the moment. Seb's 5.5 and, and 2, Paddy's is 6 and 1. The other team, yeah, Seb and Insu have gotten kills. The rest so far struggling for kills, but they're now going to attempt a 1 push. So let's see if we can get a good view of the one side. That is not the one side. Here we have the one side. Finally. Now I have my fingers on the right buttons. We see Deathflix already pushing in. Trying to see if he can meet up with Norky as hand shots down tryhard, but Norky is still staying alive. It's pretty impressive he stayed alive for so long. And now Seb getting traded out by Sly too. Paddy's is still a mid cliff and is moving in from the other side. Charge set. Cliffin is trying to have a look here. Oh, he didn't see the shadow by Hench. Gets a kill now onto Hench. Paddy's has decided to move in with him. So it's going to be 2v2. Insu gets the first one. Paddy's is now going to throw smokes. That's the second smoke. Oh, they miss him. They miss him. He does get close to the side. Oh, he's on UV. He's on Bino. He's got 13 seconds to work with. Gets the kill onto Insu. 
Oh, he gets a kill into Sam as well, but there's no time. It was a very good attempt by Paddy's, but unfortunately not enough to make that clutch happen, which means the teams will keep each other in balance. It's actually a pretty close game so far. It looks like as long as Almas is avoiding the middle mid a little bit, they should be all good. Not too many new guns that we have seen. We've seen a few new scopes. As now Caliphon's going to be under a lot of pressure. He's watching up. That is the right thing to watch. He's into tanking his shots. Going to drop an aim for anyone pushing. And people have already seen that they should be careful with that. Paddy's in the meantime is still in mid. Also a JMR for that flick. So that looks to be one of the new meta guns. Is Hench though going to meet up with Paddy's here in the mid? Because Paddy's is hiding in the corner. Hench is up there. And Sem's not too far away out. That is a great grenade! And Paddy's is stuck. Hench predicted that. But he's been there before. More smoke's coming out. Hench is just going through. Pushing through quite hard. As a triad is still holding the side. He needs to hold him off with Khan. And it will be Seb all on his own in a 1v3. Very good round by Almos. And this is going to be a tough one for Seb. Most of the players still full HP. We're near full HP. Almost gets one though. Gets a little bit dicey. But Sly does get the kill long range with the KTSC. That is round lead once again for Almos. But so far it stays quite calm. Paddy's now once again pushing in the mid. Is doing it a little bit differently than before. He hears sound from down below, so he's going to meet up with Sly. And with the X95R, does get that kill. He's going to come around, look for that flick before he gets shot down. But great, great work by him again, as Seb's gotten the kill onto him. They do still find each other still. Mate 3v3 is Hench once again makes a hard push down mid. Not sure if Cliffen's heard that. He's seen Sam though. Does he know Hench is still there? Going to be a tough one to spot. He has just gone through there. And so he's going over to two. Let's move over to Hench. He'll be the key player this round. If he can get a couple of kills, they should be able to win it. He gets a kill onto Tryhard. Oh, he spots the scope. Let's him up. Norky's now going to rotate. Insu's gone one and great round by Hench. Stays calm in the mid. Does get the kills. And Almos now has a two round lead. But once again, defense. Supposedly quite good here. So I do wonder how many how much easier it's going to become now for almost if they've done quite well. But look at that, they're not even looking at two. They're just leaving two all the way open. But to be honest, this is not a bad strategy because two side is fairly at least comparing to one side, it's fairly easy to retake. So if you have to retake one side, forget it. Unless you get lucky, forget it. Two side is possible to retake. So this is not a bad setup at all. As we see Henge get the opening kill of the match. The round here, he gets Seb. Oh, he sees the feed. That is such a nice angle. Nice gimmick. 3k for Henge so far. He's going to push on. He will meet up with Norky. No, because Insu gets the kill. Triad is alone. He still does get a kill. But Sly or Insu will shut them down. Season 8 being thrown, pushes in, but that was some great gimmick by Hench. I didn't know about that spot. That is going to be abused for sure by everyone who's seen it now. In the meantime, to everyone in the chat as well, make sure to clip stuff, especially stuff like that. Uh, that will help me tons when I have to make the highlight videos after the weekend. Once again, Paddy's is trying to contest him, he's done very well on defense side. But it looks like here on offense, he's struggling a little bit more to take mid control. And it looks like uh, Onmos also has figured out that only fan will come in here to, uh, towards one. Sam has pushed up quite far. Hench also. Hench should rotate at this moment. Oh, Sam misses a shot. That's good that Hench stayed there. That's the first one for Sam. A bit too late, Paddy's with the headshot. Great work by him. Now Hench is falling back a little bit, but has that same gimmicky spot. And with Try for Hard also getting a kill, it puts the advantage, at least for this round, in OnlyFans' hand. 
And she's still holding that angle. Insu gets one back. That's Cliffin out of the way. The only scope, actually, for OnlyFan. But they know that Hange is probably still in mid, so Norky will need to contest that. They're going to try that with the smoke. That's a good idea, but Hench is going to be hiding here. Oh, I think they've spotted him. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The box is actually floating. That's the issue that is being presented here. But now the push is happening. The push comes in. Insu does get killed. But that flick is still on side. Hench is coming in from behind already, but doesn't even need to. Great hold with the JMR. That's some great, great work. Figured some new stuff out again, although I will need to see what the default FOV is before that ruins anything. I look at Sly. Sly's pushed up all the way. He's going to beat up with Paddy's, but Paddy's just survives with one HP. Exactly. Hench is now also falling back. He knows he can't really contest that. But Odd Moss is just one round away from taking this first map. Insu gets the nade kill into Cliffin. That's also important. Sam with the one on Seb. And slowly but surely, it looks like. Oh, that was a good molly. Oh no, that's Hench. That's Hench, never mind. That's Hench with the M4A1, M320A1. The nade launcher. He He's probably the only person who uses it, but with those mollies, you can actually do quite a bit if you know how to make it work. And now then, Tryhard pushing in mid, Henge gotten the kill, Norky all by himself, and that's it! GG's! A 7-2 victory for Al Moss, and really, really well done, really. At the start it looked a little bit close, but after that we saw that it was Al Moss who figured out how they needed to play, made it a little bit easier for them, although now we are going to go to the map uh, which was picked uh, by OnlyFan which is India. So stuff might change here a little bit as we see there's currently four players on either team in the room. So we're going to take, well, we're going to wait a little bit until those players rejoin. And in the meantime, I'll be checking uh, the other chats to see if there's any issues or if everything is fine. All right, we found something out. That match is playing, that match is being played as well. This match is also on. Everything seems quite good. Everything seems fine, at least for the time being. In the meantime, out here on Twitch, there is currently... 43 people watching. So quite solid. Although, last time around, we uh, definitely had some more people coming in. But I think it's also because it's still the Saturday and it's now a little bit different with no group phases. I will put up a prediction, because I forgot to put up that prediction. So there we go, we've also enabled that. It looks like all the players have gone back into the room, so that is also good news.
Right, so as soon as that flick and Sem are ready up, we'll be able to get this match underway. It looks like everyone is ready up, so now the ball's passed back to our room host, that's Norky, and he's going to start this match. This is map two with only Fan on EU and Onmos on the NRF side. And here we are then in the match. Let's see if we have any changes of guns. Perhaps a few more wall banging capabilities. CG33. Still the kill precision chassis. Uh, not too much has changed, but let's see if Sly is indeed going to push up with Paddy's. He gets the kill onto Sap. Paddy's immediately trades out. Sam has already fallen back. Daflik is still in mid. He's also decided to be a little bit more careful and fallen back towards two so he can give back up to Winsu. So now Paddy's and Sam are likely going to meet up first. Sam, very low HP, so if this pre fire does hit, it gets Sam! Great pre fire by Paddy's. That's how you need to clear angles. He's on a 2k already this round, but a great, great start by him. Insu still holding the two side keys, making sure that nobody can get past the garden, but looks like this is where OnlyFan is going to. He hears a couple of bullets being shot at him as well. But do keep in mind that flick is not too far away. Hench finds himself alone on the side. And so he's now going for a little bit of a peek. Now sees him coming. Gets the kill into Clifton before being traded out. Now that flick will need to hold him off. Has already gotten the kill on Norky, but look at that Paddy's from behind. He's on a 3k so far. And they're now gonna go to one. They're gonna go to one. Paddy's is likely going to oh he's going to pre-fire a little bit. Should try to hide. Oh! That's amazing! What a kill by Dadflick! As Paddy's jumps up, he gets one! And now he needs just one more. Try for hard is full HP, Dadflick's on 40, but he has picked up that M40. So if he hits the body solidly, he is going to get that round. Here's a little bit of shooting. Try for hard is hiding here. Is Dadflick going to check the angle? He does! 1v2 clutch by Dadflick! And that is some great, great work. It's a shame that Paddy's went there for the jump. Should have played that a little bit more uh, passive. Because he didn't do that. Allows that flick an opportunity into the round. And he takes that one away. So despite getting three kills, it's not enough for only Fan to win the first round. It is enough though for Onmos. Good work. Now once again, Sly is having a little bit of a move this time, just a nade, Sam's still holding it. Has the ones to do a little bit with that. Sam's still holding the angle, I don't think they're going to expect him to be playing at such a close angle. Flashes do come in. Good kill onto Paddy's, Sam has had to fall back. He's going to get pushed. Having a little look, they don't know that there's three people already in and everyone's been demolished. It's a 4v2, Daflick is still waiting close. And Insu's now also trying to move in. Another kill by Paddy's. He's going to push in, but doesn't even need to. Sep's already gotten it. But Paddy's is really doing amazing. Look at that. Six and a half in one. But once again, a 3k for him. Oh yes, you're right. I do need to uh, update the overlays. Uh, yes, thank you very much. I'll make sure to do so after this match. I wrote that last time as well. This time Sam immediately gets Paddy's. As top fragger out of the way. Start coming out. Try for another pressure. Death flick has moved back a little bit. We're at a little bit more of a stalemate so far, though. Seb is trying to have a little bit of a look. He is going to move in. Can't get the kill onto Sly. Clifton still in mid. Try for her now into contest Insu and gets the kill onto him. But look at Sly. He just pushed out of nowhere. Norky gets him. So now, after having two people in the lead, now they're one down. Now it's a 3v2 in favor of OnlyFans. But look at that. Sam's coming in from behind. But he's got Norky and the bomb. And now Hans can move back. That is such great information. And Sam can now just hold back. Cliffin likely needs to get the kill, but this is a tough, tough angle. 
Cliff Hens now going to move in. Having an awful lot of fate in the scope. Oh, Sam misses a shot! And the pistols come out! The pistol's still there! And now Sam's lit because Trifard won this fight against Hench. So, where it really looked like there was no way into this round for OnlyFans, Sam finds himself in a 1v2, and he's low. Try for hearts already holding a close angle, there should be no way into this. He's made the sound. Oh, he knows now. And he knows he get the kill. <laughs> Great work by OnlyFan. I really didn't think they were gonna get that round after Sam got the bomb carrier down, but still enough. Still more than enough. Uh, it looks like one match has already been completed because Coptado has a match up. I can't exactly see who's gone that. A Sly gets a nice nade kill onto Seb. But we have one match completed already. Sam's got Norky. Good work. Cliffin now will need to meet. Ah, oh, misses the shot onto Sly. And Sly's gotten three. He's got the bomb as well. Trifar now has to rotate, but this is a 1v5 situation, so it looks like the teams will even each other out again. Very solid round by Sly so far. Yeah, try for hard. Here's Hench. But I have cornered him in pretty much. That's bottom now. There's Sly. He gets that fourth of the round. Good kills by him. He's stepping up to the plate. He's 7.5 and 3. Currently player with the most kills this match. And here they go then, they're ready for a two push. Let's see if Sam and Norky are gonna meet up, but doesn't look like it. Let's go to that flick. He might get flashed in here. He does get flashed in, but it's immediately Seb that gets the kill onto him. Norky's managed to cross over. Hens now needs to hold him off. He's gotten only one, but Sam's already in. Sam is already in, gets patties. This is his second shot. Sly's still inside fighting with the pistol. And now Sam's alone, but Sam can wallbang. Does Cliffin know this? Does Cliffin know this? Sam is still wallbanging. Aye, and Sam misses again. Still a round win for the only fan. They pushed themselves up a little bit. Looks like they are definitely more comfortable playing India here. And if they can manage to do the same thing on NRF's side, we might see a third and final map straight away. First of the nades coming out. Mid contest with Insu and that flip. Paddy's trying to do work. And helps out Norky there well. So once again, two kills going in favor of OnlyFan. And Almaz is starting to struggle with that a little bit. Sem's trying to watch the vent, but he's got a nade in his face. I think a Sly does fight back now. Sem's still waiting. Sly's still here. Can Paddy's get that kill? He does need to. He needs to get the kill into Sly. But look at Cliffin. Cliffin has moved up very far. He, if he gets a kill onto Hench, that's two side up. Oh, he looks away! He looks away, but Hench doesn't peek! Hench doesn't peek! Hench does peek! He's still alive! Oh, Hench does get the kill, but this is the cue for them to move in. Hadis is killed. Now they have to go. They have to go to two, but Hench just moved out. Hench just moved out. They think it's they, they think it's one, but it's really two. This could be a free bomb plant. Oh, Hench's got a line up. That one's not good. And that one isn't either. Okay. But the lineups are for the garden. Oh, he's got one. Sam's got Norky through the wall. There's still one coming in. Three pallets he had. So he can't have three pallets, actually. Doesn't that have two? Try far, it's not planning. Sam in a 1v1. He's got the binos still. If he can get Trifard on the binos, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> he still gets the kill as Trifard tries to go outside. So they're going to make sure they even up a 3 to 3. But I'm curious about that because we definitely saw three Molotovs being fired by Hench. I thought you had two. Can someone in the chat confirm how many you have? I really should play this game more. <laughs> Hadis is going to push out. 
tries to meet up with Sly, already pushes him back. He knows he doesn't even need to use his nades. Good work by him, that's info for them. As Glyphon has now fallen back, Hench is going to push him, shuts him down. Great job for him, that bird. Sam pushing in way too hard, which means the Tripart gets a freebie, but still side is taken. Sly still coming in from behind. Does Norky hear him? This is very sneaky by Sly, because he can just go towards the right now, and make sure that Hench doesn't have to go anywhere. See, he and Hench are going to come out, so they know both of the players are there. They are going to move in. This has been caught. But he's been fought back. Paddy, oh, they see each other! They're still alive. Oh, oh, Paddy's is still alive, ow! Oh, that's a pistol. That's a pistol. Sly, what are you doing? Sly? Oh, he loses the fight! He tries to go for a pistol on two patties, it doesn't work out! And it's still a round win for OnlyFan. That is some great, great work by him. But really, so far, he's been the MVP of the match. He's fought so well in the first map, despite losing that 7-2. And now in the second map, he's making sure that OnlyFan stays in. Let's move over to Sem. Because he will have to clear on two side now. He's an A being thrown, though, there's at least one guy in. Going back to our warts, the one side, though. See, now I can zoom out a little bit more. This looks nice. So I think, nine, yeah, 90's default. Hench got on the kill in mid. Still meeting up with Seth. Let's trade it out. Paddy's now... Oh, he still gets two! How does Paddy's get away with two kills there? Sam now coming in. Hasn't seen Tribar. Now he knows he's there. Sam needs to get this kill. He knows that Trifar has moved away. That could be great information for him. Daflik has moved back now. He's got the T91. They think it's one. They think it's one. This is not good news. It is a good trade by Seb. But now daflik has got the opportunity. Paddy's is still there. Daflik hasn't rotated yet. One v two by him, but yeah, Seb is half HP. Paddy's is lit. Paddy's gotten two kills already. He could do his team a massive favor, winning this fight here. And he's playing a bit of an off angle, so it will be hard for that flick to catch him. He is going to go the right way. He is going to go the right way. He gets the kill. But now Seb, Seb is fairly close. He is going to push in. That is still a kill for that flick. Another one v two clutch. And that is, so far at least, keeping Onmas in it. They've won two 1v2 clutches. Twice actually, that flick. That works well. Pushes are now coming out. Let's go to try for hard. Oh, that's a great flash. But the push comes in a little bit late. Sam has to come in with some trades. Gets three kills! Sly's got him in now, but that is some massive work with the XCR, and Sly's alone. And we'll win that fight, Norky with the XM8 gets the final one. Good hold by Seb, that was needed, that was really really needed. They're now two away from pushing this to a third and final map, that will be played on dual side if there is one more. Go over to Cliffen, because Cliffen will be meeting up with some guys in the middle here. Oh, what a shot by Insu. Cliffen not ready for that. I'm hoping to see what Seb can do. Last round's gone three. It was instrumental to winning that round. That was a good flash. And once again, it's Insu getting the kill. They're now trying to get split up a little bit more. Sly is still here with Paddy's. Sam's trying to have a little look onto two side. I think they're going to try and go. Tripart wants to hold it. But they still can go to one. I think they're waiting for it. I think they're waiting for Sly and Daflik to get in. And Paddy's realizes this. Paddy's has realized this. But he can't get a kill. Solidified. Push now, two is happening as well. 
Sem's gone that one. Now Norky's alone. 1v4. Push comes out. And that flick rounds that off. 5 all. We're keeping each other in balance. But the next round will be very crucial for only fan. Because if they lose this one, they're one round away from the lower brackets. Line. And it's also Paddy's who's shut down there. But we see a bit of a similar trend. We see Paddy starting off very strong, and then after the side switch, he's struggling a little bit more. But last time around, he was doing very well on NRF, and this time he's doing very well on was very uh, doing very well on EU. Killed by Cliffin onto Sen. Also an important one. Deep down the mid, Hench is going to push him again, and it's the second time this has worked out for him. Sep does fight back. Let's go to try for heart. He's going to have a little look into with the kill, and now it's two side open. Sep's already trying to have a little look there, but immediately kills. And now Norky. All on his shoulder. 1v3 is what he needs to do, but binos are there. It's not being called by the binos. Sly is still from behind. Oh, immediately a headshot onto Insu. Another scope's come out, but still that flick, who just manages to survive. But look at that, Sly was lit. Sly was lit. That flick was on the verge of losing that round, but now they're on the verge of winning this matchup. Just one round away from taking this match 2-0. Catch into a little bit more. Of course, it is Sam trying to go for the initial peak. We haven't seen so much of Insu, even though he's gotten some very important kills throughout the rounds already. Kill by Sam to mid. That is Cliffin down. They're not playing with the scope anymore, just one pointman. And Hench is pushing mid. Going to meet up with Paddy. Another smoke comes in. Paddy's through the smoke. Sam's also fighting. Daflick with a return. And now Norky's under pressure. Paddy's has been by no. Sam knows. They're just gonna go to two. They're just gonna go to two. Trifire is going to rotate. Sam misses the shot. Still stays alive. And Bomb's going to two. Sly's now gonna come in. Come in. He gets that. No 3v2. Two guys are low. Norky is two. It's only Paddy's who's full HP, but he's holding a close angle. Insu won't check that, of course. Now then, from two sides, they have to come in. That leg is low. They know this. Sam's... Oh, Norky's gotten that flick. Oh, Sam's gotten the kill. That wall bang is so good, but Paddy's is going for the fuse. Sam's waiting. Sam's waiting. There's a nade. He's starting to shoot. There's no time for Sam and Paddy's again! He keeps doing it! He keeps doing it! And he keeps in OnlyFan! What a staggering round to see. Great work by Norky as well. Once again, Paddy's prevails. And he's now 18 and 8. He's so close to getting that 20 bomb. He will immediately meet up with Sly again. Them two are really the showmakers this match. Although that flick with his two clutches definitely should not be forgotten either. And a wallbang suit from Sam. Those have been great. That almost won them the round there. Now then, a push is happening. There's an attempt is being made. A lot of damage onto Henge. Paddy's is still close. Sam's gotten Cliffin though. Netflix now up at the vent. Let's go and get a view from the inside here. We see Insu there. We can watch the vent too. Shots are coming out. Smoke there through the vent. This is more of a fake. The bomb's still down, so they haven't really decided where to go to yet. But it looks like so far the one hold is good. Seb's playing an off angle for mid, so they're going to allow them to come through, but Sem is going to try and clear out two side. If he gets a kill into hard, uh, try for hard, this could be it. As Paddy's gets into. Sam is the shot. They are already rotating. Seb, I think, realized. Oh, that's try for hard down! You could barely see him! And now Sam's got inside. He's going to wall bench. Mr. Sean to Sam. Seb. Seb and Sam. That flick. Oh, Paddy's again. That's three for Paddy's! Norky's still alive. Henge in a 1v2. Paddy's doing so much work. Henge, can you win this? This is for the match. This is for the match. He should have been Paddy's four kills! And his only fan taking it. What a man! 
What a mad lad. He's going to end 23 and 8. Norky's on 14. He's really carried them. But what a final round to have. Four kills to seal the deal for the team. And that means we're going to a third and final map. We are going to dual side. Wow, I was definitely not expecting that one anymore. Really, really good comeback. As for the other matches, it was Clown Fiesta who has shut down ZTH. That is a 2-0, which means that Captado is now playing against Clown Fiesta. The other matches are still playing. Fragments is leading 1-0 versus Cable. Insane versus Only is also at the second game. We don't really know what the scores are there. And Malukos three, uh, versus Three Legs is also playing. So that's all perfect. Looks like the teams have already decided what they want to do. We now have the full view again. And we are indeed going into the match. Our third and final map who decides who's going through to the next round at least to stay in the winner brackets. It will be almost this time on the EU side and NRF taken by OnlyFan. Yeah, the last tournament indeed has been two weeks. And seemingly on Moss, who's going for a fast one go, but look at that. Paddy's already on top, and immediately he just continues. But Deathlick now with two quick kills in return. He spotted Seb. Oh, just misses a shot there, but Seb's already alone. Hench has seen him. He doesn't see Hench. That flash is so good. That flash is amazing. Now he's finally figured out. More flashes coming out, and Hench with the final one. Good round though by the Scopes. At least by Deathlick. Hench has gotten two as well. Now look at that, Hench. But look at that, this is good because look where this Molly lands. It lands on top, which means if you want to go on top, you lose a little bit of health already as Cliffin gets a nade kill onto Insu. That's a good one in return. This is such a good Molly. You can also Molly this if you know the lineup. So really, it is a very good secondary gun to use if you know how to make it work. Patty's is once again moving up. He's going to meet up with that flick here. That flick misses the shot. And Hanji immediately though with the return. Frags happening on to two. Sep's also been killed. 3v2 now. They still have to retrieve the bomb. It looks like Cliff and Norky are just waiting. I'll update the overlays after this match, by the way, so it shows Cup 3 as it should be. Sam has now picked up the bomb. He's going to move over to 2. And Norky is the first one to rotate. Has heard a little bit of shots. That is Hench. He's playing long range. Norky should know that is not a fight he can take. But look at that, they're going back. They're going for the fade. Oh, what? Okay, this is why he's got the kill precision chassis. That's a sick, sick shot. But Norky's already in. Norky's already in, and now they're gonna go to two, aren't they? Oh, he's gone Sem! He's gone Sly as well! Hench now! 1v... Uh, 1v1 after a 1v3 attempt by Norky. But I don't think he knows he's got the bomb. Hench has gotta retrieve it. He sees Norky is gone. Because you can't see under that door. This is going to be a hard one for Hench to win, because the bomb... Has Norky... I don't think Norky's seen the bomb. But Hench has got to retrieve it. Is Norky going to go to two? I think Norky is going to go to two. So it's going to allow Hench time to get the bomb. 
But time's running out for him as well. Norky is going to go to mid. He's going to hear Henge make that jump. Gets the bomb. Oh, he's going to run straight into Norky. It's a fake! It's a fake! Henge now goes back. I think he... No, he realized he had no time to go to two. So he needs to set the bomb over at one. He's hurt Norky. He's going for the kill. Henge is going for the kill! He gets the kill onto Norky! That is some nerves that the man's got. But it works out for him perfectly. Norky almost with a 1v3 clutch. But it is Henge who prevails. And once again, that molly comes out. 2-0 lead now for Onmos. 1v1 in the full score. Our kill's not happening. Hen just gotten set down. I think we should add somewhere in the overlay what the result is of the game so far. So I'll look into updating the overlays after this tournament fully. And Tripar needs to get a kill onto Sam. He does get the kill there. Since he's still hanging around. Or Prefar's coming out. That nade could be good. That nade could be amazing, but does not damage Insu. Still gets the kill though. Hench is alone. Now I think you have three bullets, so all good then. Hench very low HP. 1v4. Cliffin's going to get him, man does. Only fan is on the board. But so far it looks like Onma's a bit stronger here on dual side. Let's watch Norky as he's got the invader. Once again, the top has been mollied off. But that's such an instrumental play because that means you know that you can just go to the top without really being contested there. Fire in the hole. Fire. Coming out, try for hardest play close. Fortunately, can't get the kill. Now two side is taken. We can get a pretty good view of this, although we are gonna try and watch the push from Hench. He now does finally get killed by Norky. That flick's still in. Paddy's is coming in from behind. Sly's gone him. Insu's watching behind. I think they know that Paddy's is coming here. This is such a hard one to take. 1v4. Insu is trying to watch it. That's one for him. So it has a name. Sly's already close. And does get that kill. Third one on the board for Onmos. It's friendly fire off. It is. This time I met push coming in, but I think he will indeed go towards the bridge. Hench is just above Paddy's here, so Paddy's really can't move out too much. Nate almost worked out, and Paddy's has managed to fall back. Hench is getting wallbanged quite a bit by Cliffin, so they're trying to fight with each other. Ah, the Nate fails there. The Nate does fail there. That flick's still on top. Paddy's is on top. He's now getting pushed. Even with the binos on him, he stays alive and gets a kill. Smoke is not really spot on. Except knows there's a guy on the bridge. That is Hench immediately a headshot for him. Now Sam 1v3. We've seen him make a clutch earlier on. But a 1v3 so far was still too much. Perhaps that we can see it now. We've seen aces in the previous cups. Uh, I think two aces in total. Bo both times actually it was Duke who made an ace. That we caught on stream. And a 1v4 so far the biggest clutch of all the tournaments. For tonight two times a 1v2. But now Sam's going to be moving in with the other angle that Seb is holding, though. It could be an opportunity for Sam to get two here, and then the clutch might be on. He spot one. Let's try for hard. He spotted Sam. He spotted Seb. 50 seconds remain. They're wisely playing together. Paddy's is going to go to DD. This is such a hard thing to clear, and yeah, Sam just has to go to two. Has to commit for it. He's making a lot of sounds. Didn't look down. He's gonna get the bomb down now. He's gonna get the bomb down. Paddy's already from behind, but they know that Paddy's did this earlier on. 
He's wasting a lot of valuable time though, because Seb's already not too far away. Charge set. Allow him to get the bomb now. And it will be Paddy's with the kill. Perhaps a bit too patient. But well done by only fair not getting caught off guard there and giving Sam some respect. Allowing him to make that plan and then just retake it back. Put a second one on the board and they're trying to at least level up the scores before we have the round change. Of course, we still have one round before that round change does happen. So I'm just trying to have a little bit of a look here. Oh, this nade could be good on Tri-Fire. This nade could be great, but the nade does not connect. Norgid actually moved in there as well. So this could have been an amazing nade. Cliffin's underground. Looks like the players are very close, but he's under. So far, not much is happening. Let's move over to Insu, who's trying to have a look round one. I think he's expecting someone to push the tank. Nobody has done so, at least for now. Keep steeping each other's stalemate for the first minute of this round. Also, more nades are going to be coming in. Immediate damage onto Insu. He's low HP. He's having a little bit of a look, but let's go to Paddy's once more. Because he's just waiting here on top. Oof. Fine. Insu is now smoked off. Steps gone Sam. Yeah, and so needs to get the bomb there. But they're pretty much stuck here at one. They will need to go there. I think that Onmos has realized this now. And she's just trying to have some jumps around with the binos, seeing if he can spot anyone. He's seen someone. But not on Bino. Sly and Norky are fighting. Addis wants to have a push, but Hans does get the kill. Sep fights back as he pushes out. More wall banks coming through. But Sep's gotten yet another. Hench has already moved away, but he's struggling for time. 1v4, 70 HP, he doesn't spot Seb, and that's the third one for him. Three all as we make our side change, but the team's really keeping it close. In the meantime, in the chat, let us know who you think is going to win this matchup, because at this point, it looks like it could go either way. He has spotted Sly. Hench won the fight in mid versus Gliffin. Grenade's coming in. That's going straight to Sly, but he's moved away. He's predicted that grenade. That is impressive. That is very, very hard to predict. Now, Insu with the stab in from behind. Hench has still got bomb. Norky needs to retrieve it. He's jumped past. Insu got spawned there, and that flick helps him out. Good fight, he made only Hench falling there, but Hench doing most of the work there this round. It's currently 9.5 in 5, the most kills of anyone on the server. 11.7 damage as well, significantly more than the next person, who is on 7.3, both Try for Hard and Norky. You know, they have a lot less kills. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a Hench nade. I saw the nade and already knew who it was by. <laughs> And she's also with the second now. Th this just shows how important nades can be if you know how to make them work. Slice now going to push Paddy's. We'll also get the kill. Bomb's still down. So Seb and Trifard have to retrieve it. But yeah, there's a nade from mid. It lands right there in the showers. And you see how powerful it is if you know how to throw it. Let's go to Trifard. We haven't seen him so much. They're in a 2v3, but they are up against two scopes. Scopes are full HP though. Really everyone is full HP except for Try for Hard. He's going to meet up with that flick now in a moment. Although Seb's... Oh, look at Seb. Seb's coming in here. Oh, that flick misses! That flick misses a shot! He's trying to make a little bit of noise for Seb. 
Sam is gonna come down, get strife for heart. Does he know he's about to be stabbed by Seb? Just missed each other. Still gone in. That's already impressive. But not enough. Sly rounds that off. And he pushes on Moss to two rounds away from victory. Looks like they're feeling very comfortable here on the NRF side. And there's now there's going to be a one push. This could be one that is key. That flick might call that. Steps in mid. Will he spot Hench though? It's made a little bit of sound, so I think Hench knows there's someone there. That flicks close to DD. Not sure if he's seen Triferheart move up to top. Hench is now going to move. <laughs> that timing is crucial. Look at that, the rotates have already happened. Free far is coming in by Sam. Wants to get someone through. He's going to rotate instead. Triferheart's on top. Fly has spotted him. Let's get that one. Sam's still there. Kills happening all across the map. And we see now Sam is in a 1v2, but he's going to push. Gets a kill onto Cliff and that's bomb down. Seb versus Sam, a 1v1 situation. If Sam wins this, on Moss is pretty much secured from victory here, unless only fan is going to get three in a row now. But first up, Seb has to retrieve the bomb. And he can't. Good clutch by Sam. Very aggressive play. But also, a push that perhaps should not have happened, that did happen, and that put Seb in that 1v2. But now it is pretty much all sorted for them. Shots coming in. Hench got on the opening frag onto Seb. See, this is the nade by Hench. That one's also for the showers. This time there's nobody there. Now look at that. It does do damage onto Glyphon. And they're now trying to go for some rotates. Let's see if Baddy can clear something out. As Insu who fights back a little bit more. Dorky has been spotted together with Paddy's. It's a 2v5. Nate comes up on top. That flick is here. But the high angle is not enough for him to get it. Paddy's does get shot down now. Norky's alone. Still gets a kill on two. That's a jump. That gets him. 7-3 victory. It is on Moss who takes it. And they move on in the winner brackets. Pushing down only fan to the lower brackets.